Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you how to create an animated GIF from Adobe InDesign using N5 and a new Chrome extension. Let's start by why you would want to choose to animate using Adobe InDesign in the first place. Well, InDesign makes it super easy. Let's start by taking a look at this layout I already have set up and how we add animation to it. I'm just going to select the first item and go to the Animations panel. If you don't have it open, you can find it under Window in the Interactive section. To add animation, all I have to do is choose a preset. So in this one, I'm just going to choose Fly In from the top. And on the word Animated, I'm going to choose Fly In from the left. And then in the item on the bottom, GIF Maker, I'm going to choose to Fly In from the bottom. And this item on the right, a Fly In from the right. So you can see these items will fly in from the edges of the screen. I'm going to select all of them and just reduce the duration down to a half second. The last thing I want to do is fade this entire thing out. You can only apply one preset to each animation, but there's a workaround to that, and that is to put additional animation on a group. Since I'm going to animate all of this, I'll just group it together. I'm going to select Command G or Control G on Windows and I will then add a fade out to the group. Now I want to adjust some timing, so I'll go into the timing panel. That's also under Window Interactive if you're looking for it. Since I animated these in the order that I wanted them to appear, they already show up in the timing panel in the order that I want. Now if I wanted them to work differently, like if I wanted the logo to animate first, I could drag that up and make sure it's on the top but I do actually want it to be one of the last animated items except for the fade out. So I'm going to select the group and I want this to stay on screen for a few seconds so you can see it before it fades out. So I had three seconds delay so everything sits on screen for three seconds before it fades out. Now I'm going to save it and export it within five. I'll use the easy export wizard and I'll just choose the banner add output and next and choose the pixel perfect text and I don't really care about the name because this is just going to be an animation, something I'll use on my social media to promote this. So I'll select Export Now without changing the title. And then I'll click to open in the browser. Now here you can see it playing in the browser. This is fantastic. We've got all of our animation. You can see after a few seconds, it fades out. Now that's the animation that I created, which is great. I can see it playing but it's in the form of HTML. It's not an animated GIF that I could post to Twitter, or Facebook, LinkedIn, or put in an email newsletter or something like that. So the way I'm going to get it there is to use the Chrome extension, the N5 Animated GIF Maker. I'll open that up. It automatically detects that this document uses N5, and I'll just hit record. It's going to play back the animation and record it as it plays. It can automatically tell when this on-page load animation ends and it will stop the recording. And there's a preview down here, and it'll automatically loop as it's supposed to. If you turn off the looping, you can, of course, replay it from the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then let's take a look at the actual GIF in the browser. So I'll refresh. And there is our animated GIF playing, ready to go on social media or an email or whatever. We've just created this animated graphic in just a matter of minutes using InDesign, In5, and the animated GIF Maker Chrome extension. Thanks so much for watching this video.